Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with the MT-096. Yes. Now, this is the exact same model of knife that TAC has reviewed on the Tactical Show. Okay, he had the Ridge Runner version. This is the M-Tech labeled uh, version, but it's the exact same knife. The current price on Amazon is ten to, like $10.50, okay? Uh, so with a knife that's so cheap, I just felt that it would be good to do a video and test it out because you wouldn't really expect a knife of this price to hold up to much use at all. But it did surprise me. Okay, so we're going to roll in some usage footage. Yes, I have used this quite a bit, as you can see. All right, we're going to roll in some batoning, uh, making some shavings, uh, stabbing and hacking away, all right, and uh, cue up the feel-good music. And we are back. You see on the bevel those batoning marks? I was surprised how sharp this was. Even after use, it had no trouble making those shavings. And look at the tip. I stabbed that into a lot of things. Surprised that the tip didn't get damaged. And I'm just surprised that this didn't break at the handle just from hard chopping it. Yeah, I mean, it stood up amazingly well. You know, it's pretty surprising. All right, here is the sheath. This is a nylon sheath. It's a cheapo sheath. There's the belt belt loop there. It does hold it in. All right, you get the retaining strap with the button closure, but it's got some sort of insert right there. But yeah, it's a super cheapo sheath. I mean, totally. All right, here's a size comparison. On the left, you got the USMC K-Bar. Uh, you got an Ontario SP6 and then the M-Tech knife, and then a K-Bar heavy buoy. Okay, so you see what we have here? It's a poor man's uh, combat utility blade. You see, it's, it's significantly longer than a regular K-Bar, but it's shorter than the heavy buoy. And, I mean, it's a classic blade shape. You know, that clip point can't really go wrong with a classic blade shape like that. But you, you see what they're trying to give you? Basically, a slightly extra large, uh, poor man's version of the K-Bar. Okay, my final thoughts on this. Well, I agree with Tack. I mean, it's a nice surprise. This thing is better quality and more durable than, like, than 99% of other knives in this same price range. I mean, I'm kind of amazed that it's even usable, but it did hold up 
did hold up to some hard use. I mean, again, I agree with Tack. It's a pretty good bargain for the price. Pretty amazing. Hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.